last video we worked on the jellyfish and today we're going to work on the element of art space. Space gives art depth. The foreground is towards the front and it's the closest to the viewer and has the most detail. The middle ground is placed behind the foreground and you can create this by overlapping objects and the background gives the piece context and it's what's seen in the distance. We're going to be doing an ocean theme and this one was done by my four-year-old and I'll show you how to do this so that you can be successful too. Getting your supplies ready ahead of time will help to ensure the project goes smoothly. If you're working with more than one student, then you'll want to fold the paper over as many times as you'll need so that you only have to cut things out once. You'll have to repeat this step for classes. You can let your child choose the color of construction paper that they like for the extra fish. I chose to fold mine into fourths so that I had enough for two kids. Draw some different size fish. I chose to draw one medium and two small fish. And I'm using a Sharpie so that you can see what I'm drawing, but feel free to use a pencil. If your child is old enough to use scissors, then you can save this step for them. Otherwise, you might want to cut the fish out ahead of time. I cut the seaweed out of foam to give it extra texture. You can purchase squares of tissue paper if you like a whole bunch of different colors, or you can use old gift wrap. To make the scale circular, you can either find something round like a penny and trace it on there, or you can find something round like a sticker and cut it out. Now it's time to prepare the background. I chose to get some paper that looked like water and also some glitter paper. So go ahead and turn it over and draw a wavy line on the back. If you have an even number of children, then you may want to make sure that this line is right down the middle so that each child will have equal amounts of sand to work with. Now that you're done with all the prep, it's time for your child to participate. You can add glue to the fish so that they can put the scales on. With children that are school age, have them try to follow directions and put the scales on from the tail towards the face. For younger kids, this is more about fine motor skills, in which case you can let them put the scales on wherever they'd like. Be sure to encourage them to be creative and to choose different colors that they enjoy. How to do the scales. Okay, you can add a little bit more glue. Oh, oh, yeah, glue. Oh, I got a glue. Okay, can you put some more dots on? So where do you want it? Right here? Yes, I do. That's the one I Oh, perfect. See that I got that looks so good more right eyebrows. There. Yay! Since we're focusing on the element of art space, we want to review the vocabulary with our child as we're putting the pieces on the paper. So the background in this piece would be the water. The foreground would be in the front. For this piece, it would be the seaweed. And the middle ground would be the fish that are in between. I'm also having my child include some shells in there and I let them place those wherever they want. I secured the pieces with hot glue and I kept my child away so that they couldn't reach over and touch it. The final piece was very heavy and I had to use painter's tape and lean it up against the window for it to stay. Uh-oh. <laughs> 